So you've wanted to fake a break on a song you didn't know. One of the ways to do it is with pentatonic scales. Stay tuned and we'll show you how to do it. For this first video, we will remain in the key of D throughout. So the first thing we'll take a look at is the D major scale, Do, Re, Mi, starting on the open third string D. So frets open, two, four, five, open, two, four, five. A pentatonic scale is a five note scale extracted from that major scale. It leaves out the fourth scale degree and the seventh scale degree. So the five notes that are left sound like this. Frets zero, two, four, zero, two, five. You'll know you have that major pentatonic when you can get the sound of the oldies song, My Girl. So that is our D major pentatonic. So if we say we're using the D pentatonic scale, we are using the D major pentatonic. We next will want to have the pentatonics for the two other main chords in the key. If you're in the key of D, the three main chords are D, G, and A. So the G pentatonic can be found by taking this pattern and just move it to where you begin on the G fourth string. Put the two together. that my girl sound you know you have a G pentatonic scale once you've moved there this is true of any scale pattern that you can locate on strings two and three you'll have the equivalent of the four of the key in this case G moving this direction and our next scale would be a begin on the a string so we move down one set of strings to strings one and two. So our first tip to using these to improvise will be to choose the scale that's the equivalent of the name of the background chord. So it's really important to know the chords in the progression of the song that you're playing. So let's assume it starts out with two measures of D I just wander around in that little scale pattern. It's a good habit to not always rely on starting on the low D to where you're always going low to high. Mix it up, start on other notes within the scale. And now it's time that's two measures of D. Let's say the progression goes to G. Something I'm conscious of is try to get to a note that's in the G scale real close by. Between your D scale and the notes on this third string when you go to the G scale, there's only one note different. It's this one right here. So that's a great note to move up to. Now, I'm going to have two measures of G, so I noodle in G. Notice because I started on the high note of the scale, I worked my way down. It's time to come back to D. Now it's going to be leading up to an A. The one note that's different on this second string between the D pentatonic and the A is this C sharp note at the fourth fret. Kind of a cool note to move into as you go to the A chord. Time to go back to D. Let's 
Let's now take a look at an improvised solo against a backing track using just these three pentatonic scales. Don't try to play your notes any faster than you can play them. So if the eighth notes are too fast for the speed of the backing track, just drop down to quarter notes. Then gradually start. Add in a few eighth notes. Before we turn you loose to improvise your own solo, just a note to let you know that the next video will cover the scales on all four strings. So now it's your turn. Have fun, there's a special reward waiting for you if you make it all the way through.